Today I'm updating the firmware on my SDS-1102X oscilloscope from Siglent. It's not a difficult process, but if you're having trouble deciphering the English as a 50th language or are just unsure of one of the steps, stick around and I'll walk you through it. The first thing we've got to do is actually download the firmware. Head on over to Siglent America's website, then select Service and Support, Firmware and Software, Firmware. Navigate down the page to the SDS-1000X update link and click More Information. Then click the big download button to get going. Once the download is finished, unzip it. You'll need to copy one of the files over to a FAT32 formatted USB drive. Locate the ADS file inside the zip archive and copy it over. I recommend putting it in the root directory just to make things easier scope side. And that's all the setup. Eject your USB drive and let's head over to the scope. The first thing we're going to do on the scope is check the current firmware version. Hit the utility key then choose System Status. We can see that the firmware is version 1.1.1.39.3. Hit Single to get out of that menu. While still in the Utility menu, hit Next Page, Next Page, then press the Update button. Insert your USB drive now. Uh, it's okay if it was inserted earlier, but as long as it's in and recognized at this step, you should be fine. And there it is recognized. Now hit the Firmware button, navigate to the file that you put on the drive with the multifunction knob, and hit the Press to Start button at the bottom of the screen. It'll ask you for a confirmation. Hit the Single button to start the firmware update. And then this will take a minute or two. I'm leaving this all in so you can see how long it actually takes to update and so you can jam out. Okay, it's at 100%, what gives? Well, if you check the revision history for this exact update we're installing, yeah, there's a bug where it doesn't do anything once it reaches 100%, and that is fixed in this release. All we have to do is turn the scope off and the update should take. I'd probably recommend letting it sit for a minute or so at 100% just to make positive that it has done everything it needs to do, but after a minute or so, it should be fine, and you're free to turn it off and continue with the process. Hey, hey, she's not dead. At least not totally. All right, so it looks like it's working. Let's go into the utility menu, system status, just to confirm the version, and we can see it updated. So there we go, scope updated. You might be seeing some more of this scope in the near future. I got some plans to take apart some of the Milwaukee stuff and give a little poke around in there and see what we can figure out with this thing. And hopefully we can find some cool stuff. So thanks for watching.